Hello everybody, this is part two of the video of my uh, McGregor Venture 22, which I'm fixing back up. Get ready for the sailing season. In case you're wondering why we're all covered up here, we're in Oregon. In ugly uh, 48 degree weather. For somebody like me who uh, came from the tropics, this is not a nice climate at all. No choice though, gotta work what we got. We got nasty... Uh, storm coming through here. Let's see if we can, as you can see everything's bustling. Yeah I went ahead and painted a few of the uh, the blue area the anti slip I still got the rest of it to do. Let me see it there. And uh, went ahead and cleaned up the interior a little bit. You know put the cleats back on and the winch, it's more clays and whatever else we need to do. I have no choice, you gotta work in the winter or you never get anything done here. Can't wait till summertime. I'll go, I'll go inside. Let's see what we have here. Ugh. It's crawling into this puppy here. Oh, it's a little bit more nicer in here. Ugh. Climb in here and hold the camera steady. Alrighty. Now these came out of uh, a 26 uh, Columbia sailboat. These pads here seem to fit all right. They'll work, and I'll go ahead and uh, put a new uh, uh, cover for there. As you see, it should clean up a little bit. I put the bulkhead back in. And, and I'll put these in and somebody put a um, I believe that's from a, a Mac 25 and I don't know fair what I do with that and surprisingly this uh, Columbia 26 pad fit right up to the edge here I have the other side too it'll be a little bit wider so I'm gonna stuff that in there right to the edge so that's pretty good that's where the photo potty goes and I put the windows in I really don't like these windows somebody must have stepped on it before because it was bent so I have a because there's a press press fitting in there so I just stuffed that in there and then uh, of course we you know everything caulked the well on the, uh, on the other side and there's a port hatch Want everything to air out and get it clean in here. To dry out everything as possible. It's pretty dry in here. I had to put the windows in. And boy, that, that tarp is about to sail off of there. <laughs> we're already sailing. We're, we're on the hard here on the land. I can actually feel that uh, moving the, on the trailer, jerking it around a little bit. I've never been a fan of McGregor's, but I got this thing for almost nothing, so I figured, all right, we'll make use of it, and I'll teach my son to sail in this thing. Um, it's a little bit more, better made than what I thought it would be. Thicker materials, and I had to cut up in here, as you can see, the, uh, the forward part of the, the V-berth there, so I can get out the bolts. Somebody had hacked ugly there, so I trimmed it up a little bit. That material was very thick. So about a quarter inch fiberglass up there and it's really hard and I made my uh, jigsaw really get hot just to cut that through there so that's pretty tough there and the other thing I'm going to do is just clean up some more and make the rest of these little guy I have one that's all I have I think I make uh let's see we got one so we have one two three four I have to make four of them and the other problem I have is right here Put it. I talked to the previous owner and he said it, uh, he thought this was flat down on here but if I remember right there's supposed to be carpeting here so I'm going to just shim it up with some wood <clears throat> so we can uh, get that in, in there correctly you know, and then I bolt it down I believe that's supposed to line up with there in that hole that's, I don't know if you can see it in the camera but right there the hole should come in there and this is for your electric 
uh, going for your uh, mass lights. Here's another problem. As you can see, get the camera in here. This is your keel lockdown bolt. I'm going to fill it in here. I think the bolt should only go to here. Get that thing here. It should only go to here. The rest will be fiberglass in. I'm going to use some thick gel right around here. It's actually not going to patch here one time. And of course, this is the keel swing bolt. This is where the keel rotates. Uh, yeah, it rotates down like that. And then the, 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 up here, the part comes up. And then uh, you get a part of the keel. And you slip your bolt through. Here's the back side. I can get this smartphone to cooperate. And you can see it also oblonged. It should just be the hole right there and not that area. And in case you're wondering what year this is, this is a 1978. And it's kind of long. I put the sails back there. And I'll run the wiring all along that edge to the front and to the back. And get that taken care of. And then, you know, of course, I got the windows now in. Clean is all up on its finish. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, well, enjoy the video. Let me get this thing uh, turned off and posted. And then in a couple weeks or so, we'll do another part. And then I do have the table for this. Actually, the original one's all grimy, so I'm either going to make a new piece. I guess probably sits down in here so you can make a bit out of that. With a bolt into there. So that's part of uh, my time this video is posted again. Part three, it'll be finished. Okay, enjoy the video.